Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with another competitive Pokemon Sun and Moon Showcase video. This time I'm going to be showcasing Alolan Ninetales in the RU tier. Now, as you can tell, I've actually liked RU a lot lately. Um, but that's not to say that OU isn't coming back, obviously. I still play it almost every day. And um, the last couple months, what do we have? We still have Delmai, Tapu Coco, Tapu Bulu, and Silvali. I'm pretty sure I'm showcasing most of those in OU, if not all of them. But... Alolan Ninetales is a Pokemon that can be used... <laughs> I'll make you stare at this background for as long as I want before I talk about it. Alolan Ninetales can be used in pretty much any tier uh, from RU to OU. It is a Pokemon that is a fantastic suicide lead. It functions sort of like Aerodactyl, being that it gets up Stealth Rock and dies, but in Alolan Ninetales case, it gets up the Hail, which doesn't matter necessarily for the team composition, but the important part is the Aurora Veil. I talked about this in the Moveset video, obviously, but the important part is the Aurora Veil, which gets up both screens for a team. So, we're going to be using this RU team that my boy slurms past me. If you guys missed any of the previous showcases, there is a playlist down below in the description. I also encourage you to follow me on Twitch or Twitter. Uh, Twitter is where you'll find this background that Jackie made for me. It's uh, Whitney and Lily. Whitney's wearing a drop of Draco bikini. It's pretty cool. Coming uh, summer 2017. Nah, I have like 4% girls on my channel. <laughs> so, I don't think I would make this. I feel like Gator would have this background in one of his videos. Speaking of which, I think his, uh, hopefully by the time this goes up, this should be Monday, uh, I believe his, um, I'm like playing with the hair, but I believe his 10k face reveal went up, so you should go ahead and check him out. In any case, let's go over the team. So we got Light Clay alone, Nine Tails, because Light Clay is good with Aurora Veil, uh, Encore, Blizzard, Moonblast, Max Speed is necessary, and, uh, I talked about it, why in my Moveset video, Adamant. Dragonance Gator over Jolly, whereas Jolly um, does outspeed certain mines such as uh, Zam and whatnot. Uh, Adamant gets the kill on Toxicroak after uh, after a spike. After a spike with um, well, this outspeeds Zam too, but jo uh, Jolly's just faster, obviously. But uh, Adamant gets the kill on Toxicroak after a spike with plus one Ice Punch. Offensive Celebi with Stealth Rock, Spike Stack and Klefki. Specs Como, which is always very fun. Soundproof. Ooh. I guess this is our Boomer switching. I like that. And then uh, Magic Bounce SD Absol. So let's go ahead and look for a game. Should be a really fun live. Like I said, if you want to get this, uh, Jackie actually made two backgrounds. I'll show you the second one right now. Uh, before we play that game. It's just uh, Flip, but Whitney's more cut off on this one. So we use this one. Uh, Winnie's actually holding like uh, a popsicle, but it's kind of cut off by the shutdown. Anyway, we got our RU game. I like my opponent's team. Uh, though he doesn't have anything to beat Ninetales as a okay, he does have a lot to beat Ninetales as a lead. I'm gonna. It's all on this side. <laughs> They're all very threatening Pokemon. Um, because all of those are actually extremely threatening, I want to lead off with Como. I feel like Como threatens my entire team. Well, this would be a great lead. Uh, basically, throughout this entire live, I'm going to be using Ninetales as support. It's going to set up the screens, and I'm probably just going to win with, like, Dragonance Gator or SD Apps or something like that. Maybe SD Apps, uh, Dragonance Gator in this game. I want to weaken Persian, though. I'm going to off with Como because it has the best matchup versus something like Chandelure versus something like Escavalier versus Halucha. Uh, he leads off with his channel alert now i do want to click flash cannon however there's no way he shadow balls here if i'm him i go hard into tokus i guess you can go a scavalier but you risk earthquake or flamethrower though i'm definitely not going for that i think you go hard tokus here so i'm gonna go out into my nine tails because this gets me the opportunity to set up my aurora veil i also threaten i also threaten tokus with the super effective blizzard so we'll set up that aurora veil which would be nice going forward in this game Stays in to fire blast me. That does absolutely nothing. Um, I want to make a mid. I feel like going Celebi isn't the best play. But I want to go Celebi because I really want up rocks here. And Blizzard threatens you. Yeah, this is why I didn't like Celebi too much. As a, uh, as a Pokemon to go into in this game. I have a Z-move. I have Bloom Doom. Okay. I didn't like it too much. But I really want rocks up so I can start winning. Um, so I can start winning with gator so would well, you turn here he didn't go for mega home which is great so i still have this as uh fodder for later um halucha's a threat but that's why i'm keeping klefki healthy it's a very big threat would well, you turn out just in case he wants to go togekiss still a few more turns of aurora veil as well 
and we'll go Rat to Como. If he double knockoffs, this actually helps me because no longer am I locked into uh, a move and I can actually switch up versus him. So I'm assuming Togekiss is going to want to come out. I'm going to go right for the Flash Cannon, predicting Togekiss. I guess Swampert could come out as well. But if Togekiss comes out, I tend to defog on my combo. Not only am I faster, uh, because his Fire Blast is so much, I'm not sure if he's offensive, but it maybe I'll 2 kill with this is what I'm trying to say. Oh, nice. That is a solid 2 kill. I even get a Spadef drop, so I'm thinking that Flamethrower can knock it out as well, but there's no reason to because I have Aurora Veil intact. So, go right for that second Flash Cannon, knock out the Togekiss. We keep up our rocks throughout the entire game. How Luch is probably going to come out. Is it Sub SD? Is it the Z? If it's Z move, it doesn't kill me because I have the Aurora Veil up. It definitely doesn't kill me. And I think we're going to win this game with Gator. So it definitely doesn't kill me. Rocks are up, which threaten uh, Scavalier. If Once I get up my Aurora Veil again in the hail, Scavalier goes down. Uh, Swampert comes out. This allows me to go out to Zele uh, Celebi. Celebi. And uh, what I want to do is throw off a Psychic. I don't want him going out into Halucha. Uh, then again, I don't. I guess I don't care. I'll go for U-turn here. I can't believe he stayed in. So we'll go out tonight. I really can't believe he stayed in. We'll go out to Ninetales because we get up the hail again and Aurora is about to end. As he phases me out to Celebi. Um, I can definitely knock him out here. So I'll just throw off a Leaf Storm. I'm not, I'm not going to bother predicting this guy. Actually, I actually want to go for Blue Moon because I don't want to be minus two. And have him go Halucha. Yeah, exactly. So we'll, go out, we'll throw off a Bloom Doom. It's going to be extremely powerful. Oh my god, that is some ridiculous damage right there. That is some ridiculous damage. That's some crazy damage. Throw off a Psychic. I don't care about Acrobatics. You also can't sub up. And we can go right onto Klefki and click Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave allows Absol to outspeed it. Assuming Thunder Wave hits, of course. Absol can also just win this game as well. Switches out, which is fine because now he won't get his Unburden anymore. Uh, I do beat this kind of... Not really, but I don't, I'm don't. i not worried about Halucha anymore because of no one burden. So I'll go for Magna Rise on a potential Earthquake. I guess you could throw off a Scald or a Roar. But this allows me to get up a Spike, which threatens a Scavalier, which threatens Chandelier, which threatens Persian. Uh, so we get that little Spike, that one little Spike. And also, because he didn't Roar, uh, I still have one more switch in with my Ninetales. I'm going to get up some more Spikes here. Ninetales can't come in just yet. Uh, so I definitely want some more Spikes. Get these full, full three layers of spike. Nice. Um, I could go Como, but I really don't want it to get burnt. At the same time, I think it's okay play. If he wants to roar here, fine. Uh, I just want to start hitting my clanging scales. Even if it gets burnt, it's okay. Because once Chandler comes out, it, it, I click Sucker Punch, so I don't really care. So I'll click clanging scales here. I do the most damage we can to Pert. Uh, granted, Earthquake, it, I don't think it's going to knock me out after, even after the defense drop, and with the burn, nice, and we can just click it again. He doesn't have anything that wants to come out, so go right for that Clanging Scales one more time. That does a hell of a lot, despite no specs, and we can go right on into Ninetales and set up our Aurora Veil one more time to start going ham with uh, Gator. Like, Gator doesn't even need a boost to win this game, so go right for that Aurora Veil. Knocks me out. Uh, there's no point in boosting because he'll just phase me out anyway. But also Gator, with all the spikes up, it just wins on its own. So it doesn't have to boost to win. Uh, Scavalier should die. Halucha will die. Persian's probably the only thing that could take a hit. But Persian... Um, a Scavalier basically... Persian is the only thing that's stopping me from uh, winning with Absol. So... Foul play or anything he does here. I'm not there's I'm not setting up on a foul play mod. And look how much that does. There's no way I'm setting up on a foul play mod. In fact, I can actually do this later. I don't want it to take any unnecessary foul play damage. As he goes for the Z parting shot. So that's way better for me. Not only does he sack that mod. Oh, he doesn't sack it, but not only does um Persian get on out of there, because he basically sacks the hazards. Uh, if Halucha wants to come in. And try and sub SD up on me. I can Thunder Wave that boy. Turn to go for it. Doubles back out into Persian. Um, I guess to 
throw off my veil a little bit. Very smart on his part, though. Doing these plays with, um... With Halucha. But I think we still Dragon Dance up, so we're just gonna... Thunder Wave here. As he tricks. Hmm. I think I'm still good as long as he can't SD up. So I'm gonna make the play hard into Gator. Yeah, as he goes for Fire Blast, I figured he would. Now this is one of the one of those uh, examples where I would love to be um I would love to be Jolly Gator because I would be faster than Halucha, and it's not guaranteed that I am. I know I can take an Energy Ball. I know I can take a Shadow Ball. He gets full paired. If I had one more turn of Aurora Bell, I would definitely Dragon Dance up again. But I don't think there was a point there. So we'll knock out Chandelier. A Scavalier is going to come out, and that's going to die, which stops him from doubling around. We'll be able to knock that out. Need to win that 50-50? Is he talking about the pair? Or are talking about the Shadow Ball? I mean, he's still... Oh, he's not faster. Okay, good. I, I have no idea why I was confusing Halucha Speed with Talon Flames. Good game. Maybe he was talking about the, the Z parting shot. I don't know, but you see how well Ninetales helped the team function. My Pokemon were taking no types of damage. Clefki put the team on its back. I'm surprised he left. He stayed in with Pert. Maybe he was trying to win with Halucha right there. Uh, I actually like Z Bloom Doom a lot. Not having to get my drops right away with Leaf Storm. But you see how well uh, Ninetales is a support Pokemon. And like I said, you can use it in literally any tier. I've used it in uh, UU with back when Salamence, Volcarona, and Dragonite were all allowed. I use it in OU with Salamence, Volcarona, and Dragonite. <laughs> Same mods. Um, and I've used it in RU with a bunch of set of mods. Uh, I really do like Slurm's team. Extremely fun. Just very fun to use. You gotta be careful about Defog though. Obviously, Defog is annoying for this team. Um, Toekiss being one of the main Defoggers. Because uh, Defog does get rid of screens as well as hazards. Though, if you guys didn't know, if you Defog yourself, I believe Aurora Veil and screens stay up on the field. Basically, let's say I went for Defog and I had Aurora Veil and screens on my field, but my opponent had like spikes and stuff on my field too. Um, I'm pretty sure the way it works is you get rid of spikes and Stealth Arc and all the hazards on the field, but. Your uh, your Aurora Veil, your your double screens, stay. Another thing you might not have known about Nine Tails when I use it in UU, because uh, I was actually gonna use PK's team for this. I really really love PK's team. I want to show you. Where is it? Where is it? So this was back when this was allowed. Basically, I had unaware uh, a, a, before this was like Psych Up before they banned Baton Pass from UU. Um, but the the idea was that. You um, you set up screens with Espeon, then you go set up your Aurora Veil, which stacks on top of screens, so you get even more. You take even less damage from that, and then you win with that. But um, Ninetales has an amazing speed tier versus my opponent's team. I want to lead off with it, especially if he leads off with like Amastar. Nice, and we're just gonna set up our Aurora Veil. This also breaks a potential Sash on Amastar. Plus, I have Celebi in the back, so I'm not really too worried. I also could have Freeze Dry, so my opponent might. Fear that. Oh, he just sets up his hazard. That's cool. I mean, my hazards are a lot more threatening to him than his hazards are for me. Uh, plus, we broke his potential sash on Amistar, so I will get on my Stealth Rock. That Moltres is a threat. Goes Durant. I'm not 100% sure I lived this through <laughs> Aurora Veil. It's four times effective. It's Hustle Durant. Uh, goes for Home Claws. Is he going to Baton I know that Klefki lives this, even through... I just gotta hit two Thunderways in a row, assuming he's uh, Lumberry. He's not. Nice. He's Life Orb. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier to deal with. I definitely want Rocks up in this game, though, because Moltres is a threat. If we're gonna win this game, it's gonna be with Gator one more time. I'm not sure why he's setting up even more, but he is. We're gonna have more spikes. You can. I think he's just trying to break my uh, screens, but this. If I had foul play on him, <laughs> on this Klefki, I'd destroy it. But yeah, he's just trying to break my screens, uh, which is completely fine. Uh, I got full hazards up, which is what I wanted. I'm going to go for play rough here as he goes Amistar. I'm assuming he's trying to... Why did he switch out after getting all that? I don't understand. <laughs> I do not understand. I do not. But we'll go Celebi because, I, uh, like I said, Moltres is on the field. I need rocks. T-Spikes. Oh, okay. Well... 
Get up our uh, Stealth Rock here, threaten that Moltres. Um, he does have the times two speed, so he will be faster. However, I can knock him out with the Psychic here. Definitely knock him out with Psychic. I guess T spikes and these spikes are annoying. Maybe I should have left with Absol. That was another one, but he could have Skull burnt me. But we'll be able to knock out the Amistar while getting up all of our hazards. This is going to be a game of hazards. If Comfy wants to come out, I'll just Z Bloom Doom that. Or just Bloom Doom that, I guess technically. Is it, is it Z Bloom Doom or is it considered just Bloom Doom? <laughs> I don't know what's it con what it's considered. I want to keep Klefki alive. Uh, I'm assuming Ninetales can actually live this, even after all these hazard damage, it can live a Shadow Ball. Plus, I can Encore him if he goes for any other... Like, exactly. If he goes for that attack, I can Encore him into it. So, we'll Encore him into this, um... We'll Encore him into that sub. I figure, like, sub, calm, mine, nasty plot, I can Encore him into, obviously be faster, and then get up the Veil. So, we'll get up the Veil last. I go for a Blizzard. I want to break his sub. I have a few more turns anyway. Um, and this is the turn that I'll go for Veil. Because obviously Hail's about to end and you need Hail up to... I could also sub him into Encore again, but yeah, I want the Veil up. So the Veil is up. Hmm. Tough turn for me because... Well, I think Keys is the best play because even if he had Will O Wisp, I should be able to break his sub. Um, or at least tank too. Like, Hex obviously isn't going to kill me. Because you don't have the best stats. Oh, I guess you have better stats than I thought. But I can always Thunder Wave him as well. I should be able to live a Hex. Even if it's, you know, 130 base power, stab, and whatnot. Yep. And we land that. Lovely. We'll just Thunder Wave you. It actually hits. Nice. Nice. Damage. No. <laughs> no. I want damage. It's still okay. Um, because, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure uh, I won with Absol after a bit of prior damage with Como. But I would have loved no screens. But I got a crit that. What? Wow, I got a crit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even see the crit. <laughs> I got a crit, which means I can knock him out with Celebi. After being faster, I didn't even see the crit. I was just like, so into the turn that he's going to be subbing up again. I'll be fine. I'm kind of hoping Comfy comes out. Comfy's a threat. Sharpedo's going to come out. Z Bloom Doom does go through Protect, which is amazing. So he has to Protect here. And Bloom Doom goes through Protect. Yeah, the damage is cut in half, but this is Sharpedo. So it should die. <laughs> it should still die. Goodbye. Or rather, good be. Comfy's gonna come out. I'll leave Storm here. And Comfy dies. Celebi put it in work. That Bloom Doom was so clutch, man. Uh, Moltres can only win if it's like agility. If it's Scarf, I just sucker punch twice. It is agility. No. Well, that can't beat Como, though. <laughs> Unless it hurricanes me. But I. I then again, uh. Gator lives Hurricane anyway, so I would have to play. Uh, he, one, he, uh, this puts him in position to hit Hurricane, which he decided to. Does he have Wild Lens? I mean, Gator was fine anyway, um, and Absol wins in the back. I'm pretty sure this kills. I'm pretty sure I live Hurricane, and I'm pretty sure I kill him. Unless he Z move Hurricane. Oh no! Or the Bloom Doom. Oh, so I know his entire set. Agility Hurricane. Yeah, he can't. He can't beat my Absol. That's really cool. So he's Solar Beam, Hurricane, and then I guess Fire Move. I really want to click Knock Off here because I'm pretty sure he's going to try and I'll, I'll, I'll agility up and I'll play me. But I have a couple turns at least. I really want to click Knock Off there. But I'll click it second. <laughs> I, there was no... There was no... <laughs> I, don't, I don't lose in these Sucker Punch Wars, okay? Get out of my sight. And Durant dies. Plus, most people are really hesitant to not to attack on the second turn immediately. Whereas for me, it's just I don't even think about it. I just click knock off. So, good game. That Z Bloom Doom through Protect was so clutch. Uh, the, the crit obviously mattered uh, because that allowed me to go Celebi. Had I got no not gotten the crit, I'll miss Magius. I probably would have U-turned out with Celebi. 
hoping that burnt into that would have broken the sub, but we're fighting Trick Room. It's very scary. But Aurora Veil is just so nice here. We're leading Nine Tails. Hilly's Daunt, so I get to go right for Moonblast. We don't mess around with this threat. I don't care if he goes out into Porygon. I don't care if he stays in. I also don't care if he gets up rocks. So that's timer on. So Carbon comes out, allows me to Aurora Veil on his Trick Room. Then he's going to go for Stealth Rock, which is fine. I'll be going to Celebi here. Get up my own rocks. He's going to explode. He has a regular uh, Marowak. Oh, he just explodes right away. He doesn't even get up rocks. That's perfect. Not perfect, but it's better than it could be. Cardon comes out. I really think that Klefki is just the best play. I don't want Como to get damaged because it can win in the late game. So I definitely won't got, don't want Como to get damaged. So start setting up some spikes here. He only has one more turn to trick room anyway. And spikes severely dent him. What is this? Hydro Vortex? Nice. That was so cool. I don't think it matters because I got Como in the back. You know what I'm saying? But like, that was really cool. This is Specs Como, bro. He doesn't have a Dragon Resist. You can't stay in with Crawdon. Crawdon can't touch me. That was extremely cool though. I like that. Yum. Okay, now I'm not Specs, obviously. But you're also not... Doesn't that help me as well? Because I could always... I guess what he's trying to do is to um, Lunar Dance into his Crawlant. So, um, because there's one more turn to avail, I'm going to go Celebi. And set up my rocks. Yeah, so by him Lunar Dancing, which was a good play, very good play on my opponent's part, uh, it does allow his Crawlant to come back in. However, Como is still an answer. I don't want him to SD up. I'm not going to try and miss anything. I don't I don't care if he does that. Like, I'm not trying to have him SD up. Because if I'm going to win, it's going to be with Absol. So we'll go Como here. How much did our do? Our clanging skills do 79% clean. Go for that again. Show me your switching. You don't have one, is what I'm trying to say. That is, that is not a counter, my friend. Even with a special attack raise, that is not a counter. We'll go Ninetales here. Because we can get up hail on his last turn and we can force him into um, Ice Beam or any... He actually goes for Ice Beam over Recovering, which is amazing because I can Encore him into the Ice Beam. Lock him in. Ninetales putting in work with the support Encore. And then I just win by setting up my Veil and attacking what's in front of me. He can't beat me. Ninetales just wins. Ninetales actually just cleans up. This is Guts Ursa Ring. I don't think I lift Facade through it, but I don't have a reason not to click Blizzard. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I live for side through everything, but I also had no reason not to click Blizzard here. And he just loses to this. How much is... Oh, no, Karnan's not low enough. Uh, so Como will be able to clean up with the Clanging Scales. Could be. Porygon is way too low with Hazard's up to take anything. And we still got Aurora Veil in the back. So Nines is putting in work, not only helping us beat the Trick Room team. Uh, it's a little bit too early to obviously celebrate, but... Yeah, I'm good. I'm definitely good. Porygon comes out. Boy, you're at 11%. <laughs> Could be. Maybe he's trying to get me low enough to the point of... Um, the Aqua Jet. But I don't have to stay in. I go Absol here. I keep coming on live because it beats Crawdon. I sack my Absol. Which even in turn gets to knock this guy off. I should just go for Super Power too. Because it hits... Uh, Crawdon if you want to switch. Plus it does enough to Marowak. And Marowak can't set up Trick Room. And now we go back out of Como and get our kills with Clanging Scales. Could be. Aurora Veil still up. A minus one defense. Aqua J ain't gonna do crap anyway. Hydro Works is really cool. I prefer Life Orb, Splash Plate, or Ban. Um, because I think being able to boost multiple items... Being able to boost multiple attacks is just way better with Life Orb and then obviously Splash Plates. Um... In Splash Plates, uh, place it uh, boosts Aqua Jet and Crab Hammer. So, where are we on the ladder? We're number six. Why are we always number six? We're always number six. 
But Nine Tails definitely putting the team on his back. Not only just setting up the screens, but also even in that last game, showing while Encore is a really cool support move. Uh, on this thing. Disable is also a very solid support move on nine tails. Freeze drag can also work. I mean, I mentioned all of this in the Musa video. If you missed that out, that went up at 2 p.m. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. I definitely think you should check that out. Because nine tails can function in just so many different tiers. And I love it. Why did he come in and leave? Offended a little bit. Uh, we'll lead off with Celebi because Celebi. Um, outspeeds his entire team outside of the Delphox. Delphox is actually a huge threat. This destroys him if I can get rid of Blastoise. Delphox is a huge threat, man. Holy crap. You too, man. I want to heal up immediately, though. I want to be able to... Uh, even if it's just... Re One, I can outspeed Delphox if it's not Scarf. Two, I break a potential Sturdy on Golem that I doubt would be a uh, Sturdy Golem. Uh, but I definitely want the hail up immediately just to start like threatening my opponent just chipping them away because that Delphox is a huge threat man It is a big threat Sorry if I can lead off a of Como. I'll probably live any attack from us. Yeah, I'll probably be able to live any attack from him with this thing and threaten him We're leading nine tails anyway, I don't care about Delphox leads off a of Toxicroak this gives me the opportunity to set up my Aurora Veil. Obviously, I'm weak to Gunk Shot. I'm weak to... Yeah, Gunk Shot's going to destroy me. But I get up the Veil, which is important in this case. I live a Gunk Shot too? That's clean. I probably live a Sucker Punch, to be honest. I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to throw off a Blizzard here, though. Do as much damage to the Toxic Coke as we can. As he is able to knock me out with the Drain Punch. However, looks to be in range of... Uh, of Gator sweeping, which is why I want to get up my rocks right here and threaten him immediately. Uh, by me getting up rocks, you can't defog too well on this. I guess you can. Maybe Blastoise can defog. Or uh, Rabbit Spin, excuse me. Maybe Glider can defog. But I want to rocks. I want to force in that Delphox as well. And with a Roar Bell, I feel like I could take one hit. I think you should save Toxicroak, especially because you're banking off of a Gunk Shot hitting. I mean, he, ma he manages to land it, which is cool. And if he wants to sucker punch me, I'll die. But then he has to go out into Blastoise. Huh. Oh, come on. I don't want him to sucker punch me. As he goes right for another gunk shot. Good play. Maybe he doesn't have sucker punch. Or maybe he just, I'm just getting outplayed. Predict the recover. But we can go hard, Como. As Florgus is going to come out. This allows me to go out into my keys. Set up my hazards. Throws off a Moonblast. Uh, I can definitely get up my hazards here if I want to, but I expect him to double out into Gligar or um, or Blastoise as he goes Blastoise, and we'll throw off a Bloom Doom. Even if you go Florgus, it has to take a Bloom Bloom into a Leaf Storm. So this is gonna hurt. That definitely hurt. I don't know if you take Leaf Storm after though, but I'm going for it. <laughs> I don't care. This is one of his answers to my Absol. Definitely gonna throw off this uh, Leaf Storm here as he goes Gligar. Takes 10 million from that. Doesn't this just give me an SD? Or Dragon Dance up with Gator? Especially if you Roost, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I Dragon Dance up here on the switch into Blastoise because we can hit that boy with Sheer Force Boosted Crunches. He can either phase me out or try and scald me, or I guess Toxic me if he wants to. But weakening him for him. Doesn't burn me immediately. Weakening him for Absol would have been, the, which is the play I was going for. I get a min roll on the last one, so he probably will burn me with the Scald here. Ooh, wasn't punished for the min roll. Nice. So we'll be able to get rid of Blastoise, and he is extremely, extremely weak to this mon. Delphox comes out. How much does Grass not do versus me? It'd be Scarf. I want to see how much Grass not does versus me. Because I don't want to sack this if it knocks me out. For, I was about to put it's gator. What is wrong with me? Psychic does not do enough. How much does grass not do? 58 to 69. What am I at? 63. 
I don't even care if he goes for si I'm going Klefki. As he throws off a Fire Blast. Wow. Impressed. But he's not going to risk a Thunder Wave. <laughs> so we go Gligar, get up our hazards here. Um, uh, we, he goes Gligar. I'll go right back out into for Alligator on his Stealth Rock. And now I just get my kill with Waterfall. Or not. That's still damage though for Absol to win the game. Yeah, that's still damage for Absol to win the game. Go for another Waterfall. Knock out the Gligar. That spike in Stealth Rock is really chipping away at uh, at Delphox there. We can sack. We can sack Celebi. To the Fire Blast. Go out into Klefki. Click Thunder Wave here. Manage to land it, which is amazing. I believe go for Alligator and win. Assuming we outspeed this with the new para mechanics. Oh, that's so lame. That is so lame. I think we still had it with um with Como in the back just clicking flash cannon. And the fact or even Absol just clicking knockoff into superpower and winning. But that still sucks. Especially after he was paralyzed. Yeah. Game okay, man. Like, all I had to do after was go out into Absol, click Sewer Power versus that, or Knock Off versus um, Florgus. But that, I... Good game. Yeah, I don't remember speed tiers after para mechanics in this generation. I know normally I'd be able to outspeed that. But that was a very good play on my opponent's part, going for Fire Blast. Yeah, Absol plus Specs Como. But, annoying. I don't want to see how to play it. Um, yeah, because basically Florgus was already in range of knockoff, even after Protect. I went Absol there, I clicked knockoff. If he went uh, Golem, uh, we'll run a couple calcs because I do want to know how the game... I already know how I was winning, but I like to back it up with calcs, you know? Golem. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna assume any. God, Superpower does so much. Yes. Jolly CB, Alolan outspeeds clean by one point. That's what he's running. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I had it, I had it. And he was running max speed uh, as well. No leftovers. Um, rock spike. Yeah. Um, so the game was mine with uh with Absol, but obviously you know that sucks. I wanted to see how it played out. Plus I could have just clicked flash cannon with my combo. But in any case, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this live. Ninetales definitely uh, put in a ton of work throughout it. Um, Nile supporting team. Uh, that guy played his Krogunk. Uh, his Gunk, Krogunk. Wow. Was I calling it that the entire time? Toxic Croak. Oh, my God. Sorry. He played his Toxic Croak exceptionally well uh, that game. And the play with Fire Blast on, uh, from Delphox was awesome. Though I lived that, man. Aurora Veil is clean. Uh, well, not Aurora Veil, but Klefki in general. is just really nice. Um, and obviously, fearing him, he feared Thunder Wave, so I went for spikes and whatnot but in any case guys i hope y'all enjoyed of course feel free to leave a like subscribe do your thing you can check out the team it is linked down below uh the music is sun and moon mount lana Aquila remix by uh glitch x city so check out our channel channel links down below and i'll see you guys next time goodbye friends